Welcome to episode eight of Sailing Loon. Join us, Ben and Aurora, for this week's adventure in the Barry Islands. After hunkering down at the marina in West End for a few days, a weather window opened up and we took off to Lukaya. After some quick provisioning, we headed to the berries. The sail down, we were joined by a pod of dolphins riding our bow wake. So come along for this amazing experience. We just shoved off the dock, now we're on the move. We have about a 26 nautical mile sail to our next destination, Lukaya. Let's do it. There's actually a group of about four boats heading from West end to Lukaya today. It's fun to be sailing down with a bunch of other boats. Nice when you make weather plans and other people are thinking the same thing. It feels like you're doing the right thing. Yacht Club that we're staying at in Lukaya. So yeah, docking time. All right, we are on our way to the Barry <laughs> Islands and we have our first dolphin sighting. checking the anchor. We've got to the anchorage and I'm hot. So let's check the anchor. <laughs> can already see the chain on the bottom. What? Please. Oh, I am. Slower than that? Oops. I'm not used to driving this thing anymore. Oh. To the beach! Woohoo! Ben may be the captain of Loon, but I am the captain of Dinky. Captain? Captain? Was not up all the way. Was rubbing Oops. in the sand. Oopsies. Look at this water. Just this big beach, and it's just us. And we sailed here. Good job. So we're in the Barry Islands, and it's 
just the most gorgeous day. So we're gonna go have some fun. We are anchored out in front of Sugar Beach and then nearby there's also a place called Shark Creek that I think we're gonna go explore. But look at this. Look at this water. It's so pretty. I call this jello water. see his thousands of little jelly-like feet. <gasps> oh my god. You can see his truck over <gasps> there. Aww, I love him. Let's show you this place from above. We haven't taken any meat out for dinner. Fingers crossed we can find some conch to have for dinner. <laughs> wow, mister! Taking this, the pole spear for its first trial run. What Try are you not after, to Ben? Pop the dinghy. Yeah, don't pop the some dinghy. Snappers, and Snapper, pop, or pop, lobster. Or lobster. 30 seconds in, I haven't even gotten the water yet, and we have our first conch. Well done. Rinse it off. Nice. And the mount. But it is. Cool. But that is just so pretty. I don't know. Is that a conch? Maybe it must be a different type. Comment below if you know if that what that is. very skinny so it's not mature We're going 
to assess which are the most mature and make our dinner pick. Ben, I present to you dinner. Uh, are you impressed with my con skills? <laughs> Very impressed. I also like have more. I have more in the boat. Conk <laughs> run really fast, so they're definitely hard to catch. Today was just the most fun. It's crazy to finally be doing this because Ben and I have talked about this, about doing this for so long. And today was just like the exact day that we've dreamed of. But, so we caught six conch today. So for dinner, we're going to be doing conch two ways. So Ben is going to do his Cayman style conch ceviche, which is really good. Whenever we catch conch, that's how we do it. I am going to attempt to make a conch chowder. I've never made one before, but I'm gonna find a recipe online and do it. This is gonna be a really yummy dinner and it doesn't get fresher than this. We caught it like an hour ago. I wash these off in some salt water, but when you're done, you should just be left with the white meat. Some people probably think that I cut too much off, but don't worry, I use the rest for bait. For my conch chowder, I've kind of perused a couple online recipes. The first thing I've learned is that you boil your conch for 15 minutes. Big chunks. Or just ah! healthy a lot. amount of butter. Sweet potato, carrot onion, garlic, and we can't forget the corn. So we're gonna add in some broth. I love ginger, conch, coconut milk, and I think it's gonna be really yummy and sweet. Pretty windy tonight, currently gusting up to 30 knots, so we are rocking. And the gimbaled stove. Doing its job. An excellent job. <laughs> Everything's crashing around, but this soup is just doing great. First, you have to thinly slice all the conch you have. The thinner the better. Step two of the marinated conch is actually soaking them in lime. Put the lime in, put them in the fridge for 15 minutes and let the lime cook the conch. So we've cooked this in lime juice in the fridge. Now, good bit of onion in there. It seems a little weird, but we're gonna go in with a little bit of ketchup. Worcestershire sauce hot sauce. Fortunately, we don't have the correct hot sauce. Usually you would use pick a pepper sauce to make Cayman style marinated conch. We don't have that, so we're just going to use some of this. And give it a good mix. And this goes great on, I like it best on hint of lime Tostitos, but any type of crackers it'll go great on. Taste test time. What should we taste first? I'm try the conch chowder first. Okay. Looks delicious. <laughs> Very good. The flavors are delicious. I wouldn't change a thing. The conch is slightly chewy, so maybe next time we'll dice it up a little bit smaller, but very good. I love coconut. This is like a really yummy, sweet, but savory soup. So I'm a fan. I would have added a couple other things, but obviously we're a bit limited with our ingredients. And okay, now my almost Cayman style marinated conch. conch. Chip. Chip, you load it up with conch. Something about cooking the conch in the lime juice, like ceviche, it's not chewy at all. This is really good. Marinated conch, Cayman style, conch chowder, delicious. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for our next episode as we sail further south.
cliff jump out of Blue Hole and continue exploring the Berry Islands. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment.